Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Sunscreen is by far one of the most important products in your skincare routine, but for people with medium to dark skin complexions, it could be the most difficult one to find. On this episode of Sunscreen for Dark Skin, we are putting the Murad Environmental Shield Multivitamin Clear Coat Broad Spectrum SPF 50 PA++++ that's a long name, to the test to see if it is black girl approved. If you missed the last episode, I will link it in the cards above. Make sure that you are subscribed and click the notification bell to be updated every single time we put another sunscreen in the hot seat. Let's get started. As I'm rating the sunscreen, we're keeping 10 qualities in mind, and at the end, I'm gonna give it an overall rating out of 10. Let's talk a little bit about the product. Here are the claims. On the website, it says, potent vitamins and biofermentation technology enrich this clear sunscreen for supercharged preventative aging protection. It says it's supposed to nourish the skin and protect against early aging with high level free radical fighting SPF. So nourish the skin and protect against early aging with high level free radical, and it's a free radical fighting sunscreen. It says that it has a powerful blend of antioxidants, vitamin C to F. It combats free radical damage, like we said before, and amplifies protection. So the combination of the antioxidants and the vitamins is supposed to supercharge its free radical fighting ability. It also has a path patented bio-fermented clary sage that defends against skin aggressors for healthier, more even toned skin. And it has omega packed chia seeds that nourish and strengthen the skin and boost the skin's resilience as someone who is past 25, like, yes, please. And of course it's made for all skin types, even those with sensitive skin. So those are the claims. They sound pretty bold and pretty great, but let's get into it a bit further. Let's talk about the brand. So the brand is founded by Dr. Howard Murad. Murad is a high-end drugstore brand. Their products range from between like 30, and I would say the highest I've seen is like $70. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it's a dermatologist and pharmacist founded brand, which I love. I personally love seeing when products are founded by dermatologists because they see skin and problematic skin every single day. So I trust their products more that they're going to give you better results. They've also been creating antioxidant rich products for over 30 years that are specifically designed for preventative aging protection. So their brand is specifically founded on the premise to help your skin age well. This will be great as a preventative measure for those obviously under 25 and as a maintenance measure for those over 25 so i love that they have both of that there they are 100 percent cruelty free certified for peta approved global animal testing policy and they do say on their site i quote we will never test on animals period we love that on their website, they do have tons of information of what they stand for and what they currently do. So I would suggest reading it through if this is something that you wanna consider uh, adding Murad products in general into your routine. I love seeing brands that are really committed to making sure that they're being accountable for their own footprint and that's not falling on the hands of the consumer. Because let's be honest, it is these companies that are creating most of the effects on our environment. There's only so much that each individual can do and as we're doing our part, we're expecting companies to do the same thing too. I really love what they stand for. I love what they're doing. I love their transparency as well. It's going to be getting a point for me. Let's talk about the packaging. So the product comes in a sleek matte tube, which if you guys have seen any of these review videos before, I love these type of tubes because you can squeeze everything out. You can also cut it so you can scoop every last drop out of this container, which I love. It also has a fine nozzle. I'll do a close-up for you, a very fine nozzle so you can have portion control. Um, I really love doing the two finger method when I'm taking product out. And so when the nozzle is very tiny, it helps me do those right uh, lines. I love that the packaging is simple as well. When the packaging is simple, you know that the majority of the money went into sourcing the proper ingredients, the high quality ingredients, rather than the pretty packaging it came in. And it has a really good twist lock cap. So nothing spills out if you're carrying this with you on the go. So for packaging, it's going to be getting a point for me price and quantity so this product retails for 42 canadian and it comes with 1.7 fluid ounces let's do some math um, i calculated the average daily cost so 1.7 fluid ounces divided by 0.04 equals 42.5 days so 42 dollars divided by 42.5 days is equal to 98 cents 
every time you use this product. Obviously, I've done a lot of these reviews and I've calculated this amount various, various times. I do think this is a little bit on the pricey side. Like I said, this is more of the high-end drugstore. So of course, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I do understand why with the ingredient list that's there. We'll get into that later. But overall, I'm gonna be giving this a 0.7 for price and quantity. Let's talk about the ingredients. So this product, like we said before, it has 50 SPF, PA++++, four pluses. So this is the highest amount of protection that you're gonna get. For the active sunscreen ingredients, it contains avobenzone, homosalate, actisalate, and octocrylene. I've listed them on the board in case you wanna know like what does UVA and what does UVB. And this one actually does list the percentages of each ingredient. Dermatologist founded brands make my life so much easier because you know I love to dissect ingredients and they have everything listed there for me. Um, so from the ingredients, I can definitely say that this is a chemical SPF. It is also clear and a rule of thumb is if the product is clear, it's probably not a mineral. And in terms of the actual ingredients, I have the ingredient list here on the screen. Now it's made with like they said, a powerful blend of vitamin C to F for the antioxidant factor. So this is tocopherol, tocopherol acetate, that's vitamin E. Um, Tetrahydex, Lord, I am not trying to pronounce that. It's on the screen. And so this is gonna help for anti-aging. It's gonna even the skin tone. It's also gonna help to fade your dark spots. It's gonna prevent new ones from forming and help you fade the ones that are already on your face. So that's great. Uh, we said before some of the interesting ingredients was the clary sage, the chia seeds, the fact that it's a broad spectrum, we love that as well. So it's supposed to improve the resilience of your skin. I love that it has like the fermented ingredients. I've talked about fermented ingredients on my page before. I love them so much. What fermented ingredients do, is they help to balance your microbiome. They have the good bacteria that your body needs to keep it in balance. And so when you're applying this topically or you're ingesting it, you're helping to create that environment where your skin can do what it needs to do effectively, right? It also includes a very good blend of emollients and humectants that hydrate and condition your skin. And this product actually creates a thin barrier on your skin to lock all of that hydration in. So it includes dimethicone, uh, polymide, what? Polymide 3, that's the, the film forming ingredient, a few other plant and seed oils, and of course, great humectants, like I said before. All right, so for the ingredients, I really love this ingredient list. I'm gonna be giving it a point. Application. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to silicone products because I don't really like the overtly dimethicone feeling, so I'm trying to be as objective with this as possible. Obviously, this product feels like a primer. It goes on like a gel. It smooths on your skin very nicely, but the texture, the best way I can describe it, it kind of feels like an oil gel. Not that it has oil in it, but it feels like I don't know, I, it's a really interesting texture. I can't really describe it. It doesn't leave your face shiny. It smooths out on the face very, very easily. It's almost like it's gliding on top of your skin. It says it's supposed to form a film and that is exactly what it does. So it does have a film, you can feel it on your face. You'll also have a, a slight film on your hands. So this is definitely a sunscreen that you'll want to wash your hands after applying it. I'm going to be giving it a 0.6. It's not my personal favorite texture. So finish. I mentioned before it has like an oily gel texture, but I don't know, that's just the best way that I can describe it. It is not oily. It actually has a velvety matte finish to your skin. It actually finishes quite nicely. It just, for me, it feels like there's something on my face, which I really don't like. But anyways, it leaves a really nice sheen on your skin. That's definitely that velvet matte, not completely matte, but like, velvety? I don't know. <laughs> um, your skin will be really smooth to the touch, like super, super soft. When I say it creates a coating on your skin, like it's very, very smooth. I think that it also has like a slight blurring effect because of the dimethicone as well. So if you're someone with like really oily skin, you have large pores and just like a lot of texture, you're really going to like the sunscreen. The actual texture, it does eventually like settle on your skin. So it doesn't feel like you're wearing a mask, but it does take a while. I would definitely say apply this and then wait like 15 to 20 minutes before putting on your makeup. You don't even really need a primer with this one. I feel like this does the work of 
primer and a sunscreen so that's cool too um so for finish i'm going to be giving it a 0.7 so on that note murad actually also sent me their essential c day moisture broad spectrum spf 30. this one is also a chemical sunscreen but it has more of a creamy texture versus a dimethicone texture so let me know if you want to see a video on this or a comparison between the two and i can definitely do that for you guys all right let's talk about reapplication so once again the product smooths on very easily on your skin there isn't necessarily a pilling on your face but I did find it balled up in like my neck crevices a little bit, which was kind of annoying. But, um, and then if I did this, it kind of rolled off from my shirt. Only on my neck though. My face, I had no problems with that. Once again, you will feel like you need to wash your hands after, but it really does look good under makeup. I feel like this is one of those products that is like the perfect base for applying foundation. Make sure that you are wearing a silicone foundation for this silicone base product. Over makeup, it applies very easily. The only thing is because it is clear you don't really know if you've put on enough you know because when it has like a little bit of a color you can see the white and then blend it in but because it's clear like I don't know how even I've reapplied it on my face also because of that oil gel texture it breaks down your makeup very easily so at the end of applying it it picked up all of my foundation I don't usually have that happen but with this one for some reason the texture just melted my foundation in my opinion not so great on top of makeup so for reapplication I'm gonna be giving it a 0.6 white cast as the name of the product suggests clear coat it is absolutely clear so so you don't have to worry about any cast on your face so that will be getting a point from me all right, let's talk about fragrance. So this product does contain fragrance as an ingredient. I'll actually list the ones that it contains here. Please note that um, it is considered safe for most people in the proper diluted amount. And this one is obviously formulated by a dermatologist, so you can infer that it is. It can be irritating to some people, so definitely do a patch test. I don't find that this stings my eyes as well. It's not overwhelming. I actually quite like the scent of the product as opposed to some of the other sunscreens that I've tried before. It has a really, really nice um, scent. But take this with a grain of salt. I am not a cosmetic formulator and I understand that like it's not about the ingredients themselves. It's about the formulation. So I'm giving you the information and you can be the judge of what you decide to use. I don't really have a problem with the fragrant list. As long as they are formulated at the proper dosages, then it shouldn't be a problem. I haven't experienced any irritation from it either. Um, so fragrance is going to be getting 8.8 from me. Flashback. So here is a photo that I took after applying this product three times. So, okay, this is perfect because you can see the texture you see how there's a little bit of like shine over my mouth and everything that's what I'm talking about it's not grease per se I don't even know how to describe this appearance I think if you're someone who shaves your face and gets rid of the vellus hair then it may apply much much better on your face but um yeah it will look like this for about 20 minutes or so before it soaks in. All right, so flashback will be getting a point. All right, so overall, I really wanted to like this product, but because of the texture, now once again, this is my subjective opinion because personally, I don't like dimethicone heavy products. Now, I really wanted to like this product, but personally, I'm not really a fan. That doesn't mean it's a bad product. It's just not something I personally like. I would actually recommend this for someone who has oily skin, they have texture on their face. I do think dry skin types will like this as well. It depends on the the finish that you're looking for with your products. For what it's worth, it is a good product. So it will be getting an overall rating of 8.4. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your thoughts. Have you ever tried this before? Will you be trying this clear coat sunscreen? I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one. Bye.